today is all about timing sets. Now there are a few different types and we're going to go over each one of them. And we'll also fill you in on why you would use a specific type for your application. And we're talking about performance bullets, not stock engines. In the 1960s, roller timing chains were introduced. And there are two different types available, a single roller and a double roller. Here's a look at the difference. A single row has one row of gears on the sprockets. And as the name implies, a double roller has two rows of gears on the sprockets. Most original equipment pushrod engines, including current ones, use a single row timing chain. And a good example of that is today's LS. It uses a single row because it doesn't require a lot of spring pressure to run the valve train, and it's a more compact setup on the front of the block. When the valve spring pressure is significantly increased, along with the power output and rise in the RPM ceiling, a double row chain will control the valve train better because it spreads load between two sets of gears. The engine's cam timing will be more stable. Keep in mind, both single and double row timing sets will stretch over time, and that just won't affect the cam timing. In extreme cases, it will vary the ignition timing as much as three or four degrees. And at that point, the engine is dangerously close to a catastrophic failure because the chain is ready to break. As far as materials go, most hot rod types are made out of regular cast iron, but the pinnacle of timing sets are the billet type, both on the crank and cam gear. Now, these are typically fully adjustable and come with a Torrington bearing on the back to reduce wear on the block. In some cases, the Torrington has to be machined for, but for the most part, they're integral in the design for your particular application. If you are around hot rodding in the 80s, then you probably remember hearing what a gear drive setup sounds like at your local cruise night or drag strip. Now, there are advantages and disadvantages of a gear drive. On the good side, they are extremely accurate in controlling the position of the cam since there is no stretch involved. The downside is they are slightly too obnoxiously noisy in their operation and induce mechanical resonance into the valve train, sometimes causing issues in extreme performance applications. They're still available for popular engine combinations. And if you like that high pitched whine like an old school blower, well, then these are the hot ticket. The ultimate timing setup, in my opinion, is a belt drive setup. These are specifically engineered to provide accurate cam timing, provide ease of adjustment, and have great longevity with the side benefit of dampening harmonics to the valve train. Although they are on the top end of the budget, they do provide the very best of every feature that you'd want for your high-end race bullet. They're available through several manufacturers and for all popular race engine platforms.